Well, I just cut out these little tenons from the bottom of the little man on the scroll saw, and unfortunately, I had a malfunction in my camera, so it didn't record, but you get the idea. I'm going to be drilling the necessary holes now. I'll be drilling a 3 16 inch hole wherever these slots are. So in the bottom of the little man and in the bottom of the top part of the legs there'll be a 3 16 inch hole that goes through and on the little man I'll drill from both sides because the drill just won't go all the way through. Then I'll be drilling a quarter inch hole on the tabs on the bottom part of the leg and on the upper part of the leg so that when I put these together there'll be a quarter inch hole in the tab but a 3 16 hole in the slot I'll put it together put a 3 16 dowel through and this will be loose enough to move around I'll also be putting a quarter inch hole in the back of the little man to have something to put the stick in to hold on to him for and I'll be putting two holes to hold the arm on and I'll be drilling a hole in each arm and I'm not going to give you the measurements of those holes yet and I'll explain that during the assembly process so let's get the holes drilled and then we can assemble it Three sixteenth inch dowel. And now I'll explain about the arms. I'm going to use about a 3 16 by half inch flat bottomed and flat topped screw 
because I don't like to use uh, shop nails or screws in my toys. So what I've done is I've drilled holes in the where the arms are going to go that are 11 so it's just, which is just under the size of this and I drilled holes in the arms that were 7 16 which is just over the size of this so that they can swing freely and I'm just going to put them together and because this is the hole underneath is slightly undersized I'll be able to screw this in and it'll stay there and it'll hold the arm in place I want to make sure that I leave it loose enough so that the arm can swing freely. And the last thing to do to the figure is to glue the stick into the back. So, here's our little man. And here's the springboard. And this is just a piece of um, quarter inch Luan I had hanging around. It's about two and three quarters by almost three feet long. In the description you'll find a link to a template that you can use to cut out a little man like this. And I have some tips for you if you're going to be making one. Uh, before you peg everything together, make sure that the legs move the way that you want them to, that, that they're loose enough. These could have been a little looser. I think he would have jigged a little better if, if the legs were just a little bit, had a little bit more turn in them. But you can use the template that I have as a guide and try it out. It's fairly simple to make. And Although I used a lot of electric tools doing this, you could easily cut this out with a coping saw. Let's try him out and see how he does. Well, I don't think I'll be winning any prizes for my singing, but let's give it a shot. Oh, old Aunt Tucker was a mighty man and washed his face in the frying pan. Combed his hair with a wagon wheel, died with a toothache in his heel. Get out of the way for old Aunt Tucker, he's too late. Supper, supper's over and breakfast is cooking. Old Aunt Tucker just stands there looking. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.